This is Top Accolade African News Updates. I am Soy Bifa Jackridge. In the months leading in the months leading up to Kenya's deployment of police officers to Haiti, President William Ruto has consulted political advisors, security officials, and foreign leaders about the high-profile anti-gang mission. He was stunned to less conventional counselors, a circle of Christian evangelical pastors close to him and his wife. The pastors have issued recommendations to Ruto and served as a conduct between Haitian communities and the president. According to interviews with two of the pastors and three Haitian and American evangelical leaders spoke people for president ruto and his wife rachel did not respond to requests for comment for the story the pastor's effort ahead of the deployment due to begin later this month have included meetings with haitians in the united states as well as evangelical counterpart u.s government officials and even haiti's most notorious gang leader jimmy barbecue charizia people involved in the initiative say the relationships forged with haitian communities will help the kenyan-led multinational force avoid the mistake of foreign interventions in Haiti in recent decades. Besides failing to stabilize Haiti, those missions left behind legacies of human rights abuses and diseases, most infamously a cholera outbreak believed to have been introduced by Nepali union peacemakers in 2010. The African National Congress will give an early indication on Wednesday of its response to last week's election, which ended its 30-year run as the majority party and plunged South Africa into, into political uncertainty on scene in the democratic era. The ACN, which is still the largest party but can no longer govern alone, said it would hold a news conference at 12 p.m., but it is not expected to make an announcement about any coalition plans as it has yet to decide on its position. Voters, politicians and financial markets are on tender hooks to find out which party or parties the ANC will approach to form a national government and will be scrutinizing every detail that comes out of the news conference for clues on what to expect. The ANC's choice will steer the nation in one of several very different possible directions as contender parties range from the Free Marketers Democratic Alliance DA to the Marxist Economic Freedom Fighters EFF with a range of smaller parties with their own specific identities or also in the mix. A note to media said the news conference would include an announcement about a national executive committee NEC, meeting to be held this week, suggesting that the meeting had been postponed from Wednesday when it had originally been scheduled. The NEC meeting will be the forum where the party's most senior figures attempt to trash out a consensus on which parties to work with and what kind of a deal to offer them. An ANC official said an organized corner within the party was expected to push for a deal with the E. FF and Mkoto Wiswizi MK, a party led by former President Jacob Zuma, but they were outnumbered by those favoring arrangement with the DA. A storm ripped through South Africa coastal province of KwaZulu Natal, killing at least 11 people and leaving a trail of destruction in its wake, local officials say. Drone footage taken in the South African town of Tongat showed residents sifting through debris, so strewn around the damaged homes, trying to salvage what was left of their belongings. Local media cited the premier of KwaZulu Natal, Nomuza Dube Nkube, as saying the death toll could rise from the 11 reported killed so far. Trevor Freeman too, who was driving in the area, filmed the dark clouds sterling above the suburb of La Mercy near the ban. It really did not look like something you would see in a movie, he said. After it passed, I noticed vehicles that had been struck by debris and a truck had been turned on its side. Nigerian lenders have started submitting plans to meet new minimum capital requirements to strengthen the financial system and support economic growth, the central bank said after setting the standard in March. Commercial banks with international authorization must have at least 500 billion naira, that is $344.83 million in capital under the new rule by the central bank of Nigeria. More than 20 lenders in Nigeria need to raise extra capital within two years to meet the new threshold. Three of Nigeria's top-tier lenders guarantee 
Property Trust Holding PLC, Access Holding, and FBN Holding have announced capital raising plans in recent months. The central bank has said lenders need extra buffers, especially after the too large devaluation in the local Nile currency since June last year. High inflation and low growth have plagued the economy for a decade, and government measures to boost growth have stocked prices, triggered rate hikes, and worsened the cost of living crisis. Labor Union suspended a strike prompted by the failure to agree with the government on a new minimum wage to cushion the impacts of its reforms. Unions have said that strike will resume after a week unless a wage agreement is reached. The central bank, which revoked the licenses of unlisted lender Heritage Bank PLC for breaching its rules, revolted media speculations that it was about to do the same with three other lenders. That is the size of Top Accolade African News Updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Wednesday.